Greetings, this is Rick. Rick is the, the master the brewer, the scientist who created Hawkston Lager. And I've come down here today because I've noticed that the amount of head on the beer varies. Well, there are numerous reasons. We try to get it just right so that we don't have a massive pile of foam on top of beer mm. and we don't have beer without any head at all. So the things that can influence this is a lot on the brewing side, but it's also a lot on the dispense side. Yes, it's important to have the right sort of glass. What do you mean by the right sort? Because that's what they call the German glass. Yes. For me done in France. Is that the right sort of glass? Or is well, it the this right is size? a good, good glass. However, with a good lager drinking glass, you have nucleation at the bottom of it. Now, this is just sort of scratching in the bottom of the glass, but it forms a site for the bubbles to come out of the beer. It's right at the very bottom. There's a, a scratch on it was just easy to scratch the bottom. Yes, and then the you bubbles can. live on it. And the bubbles, live, uh, the bubbles form on it. Form on it, absolutely. The bubbles rising up through the beer bring up the various foam positive materials and create. A so nice if you haven't got a glass with scratches on the, on the glass, you're going to get fewer bubbles. Correct. So and less of a head. And then less of a head. So it's referred to as a headkeeper glass. So you get good head. You get good head on a. Glass with <laughs> so you get good head. You need to scratch its bottom, and yeah. then you get good head. Yes, totally, totally. And you can at home with a screwdriver find your favourite glass and scratch it delicately on the bottom, so that the bubbles so nucleate get... and rise up through the beer, which will then hold the head. That's a top tip right there. Get a scratch at the bottom, and then you get good head.